Hello everyone. Welcome to the series of economics in four minutes. This is Professor Atman from Crack Economics and Statistics. In this video, I'm going to discuss why average cost curve is U-shaped. We all know that in the beginning, average cost curve is downward sloping. After reaching some point, it starts increasing. But what is the logic behind that? So in the beginning, I'm going to explain the idea of average cost and then we'll move to the reasons behind the U-shaped average cost curve. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel to find more videos on economics, SPSS and R Studio. Let's begin with the idea of average cost. Average cost is the per unit cost of production. So therefore, average cost is equal to total cost upon quantity produced. We know that total cost is equal to fixed cost plus variable cost. So therefore, average cost is equal to fixed cost upon quantity plus variable cost upon quantity. So we have this formula which says that average cost is the summation of average fixed cost and average variable cost. This is the schedule of average cost. So here we have quantity, total cost and average cost. You can see that initially average cost is declining and then it starts increasing. Let's draw a diagram of average cost curve. So here we have quantity on X axis and average cost on Y axis. If we draw the average cost curve, we can see that initially it is downward sloping. After reaching the minimum point, it starts increasing and therefore we have upward sloping curve. So the average cost curve is U-shaped. Now, why average cost curve is U-shaped? Why it is not L-shaped? Why it is not downward sloping? Why it is not upward sloping? Why it is not horizontal or vertical? The answer is due to operation of law of variable proportions. So we have increasing returns, constant returns and decreasing returns. Let's understand increasing returns first. In the beginning, average cost falls because of increasing returns. So in that phase, we use the fixed inputs efficiently and therefore that reduces the cost. So as we increase the variable input, the average cost reduces because of the efficient use of the fixed inputs. And therefore, we get the downward sloping portion of the average cost curve. Now, after reaching some point, we have decreasing returns. So after some point, average cost rises because of this reason. And in this phase, fixed inputs are used beyond their capacity. And therefore, that leads to the rise in the cost. So as we increase the variable input, the average cost increases. And therefore, we get the upward sloping portion of the average cost curve. So downward sloping portion of average cost curve depicts the increasing returns while the upward sloping portion of the average cost curve depicts the decreasing returns. Let's understand this in the diagram. You can see the downward sloping portion which shows increasing returns and upward sloping portion that shows decreasing returns. Here we have point H at which average cost is minimized. And the quantity produced at this point is known as efficient scale of the firm. So this is the reason behind the U shape of the average cost curve. Thank you everyone. And if you find this video useful, kindly like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Crack Economics and Statistics.